So, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? I'm sitting on a bench preparing to do a live for the BBC in about half an hour with two, uh, two of the lovely artists who very kindly agreed to donate their time. Uh, so this will run from basically from about four or five o'clock in the afternoon from commuter time through till midnight. And how about the um, one at Bristol? The one at Bristol is really tapping into a very specific um, reminiscence that we had from quite a lot of doc dockers, which was the thing of the pen. So what the at Bristol piece do is meant to evoke is that sense of uncertainty. You've got these sort of ghostly figures of dockers emerging from blackness onto these windows, and they stand and they wait to be picked. So what are you going to start off by doing? Well, I'm going to basically start off by selling um, yes, it's an arts project, and it's to um, bring to life the history of the dock, uh, the dock side and the, the dock workers. And uh, you know there are three installations, uh, and uh, three installations. And, and uh, the first one is is up on. So we're going to go to the virtual reality difference first. Um, you can let us do that if you like. You say there are three installations, and they are, and then over to Alison to start. Well, I, I need to have a little. Bit I, of shut up. I shut up. I shut up. If I buy we can walk and talk. So again, we're talking about an arts project and it's to bring to life the docks and the dock workers. And when you come across this bridge, you're going to get a real surprise because you're suddenly going to be hit by a wall of noise, cinema surround sound. We'll come to that in a moment. But really, the first one I want to talk about is in Bordeaux Quay. It's a virtual reality dinner party. Uh, Alison, you're the creator of the project. Um, tell me a bit about it. How does that sound? That sounds good. Yeah. Now, if you go down to the docks over Bristol uh, over the next 10 days, you might find yourself caught up in an art project bringing the history of the area to life. Two of the installations are about the dockers themselves, while a third is a rather unique dinner party. Points West's Alice Boovery is down on Bristol's dockside and can hopefully explain more. Alice. Yes, this is an arts project which is aiming to bring the history of Bristol's docks and the dockers to life. And as you walk over Perrow's Bridge, you're going to get a big surprise. You'll hear the sounds as what it was like to work here in the docks 50 years ago. Now, we'll hear about, a bit more about that in a minute. But first of this, very little virtual dinner party. Alison Sterling, you're the curator of the arts project. Tell me a little bit about this dinner party. It was created by Terry Flaxton and it is, as you say, a virtual dinner party. The chair, the tablecloth, the chairs, the tablecloth and the plates are all real but the images that you see are all of course, virtual. The food, the wine um, and the hands of the guests who are all sort of at this dinner party. So when you go to see the installation, you can sit down at the table, you can play, you can interact with it. And, and the wonderful thing is that everybody does something slightly different. Some people disrupt it and some people play along with it. Ah, lovely. Just a, a little bit more in connection with the docks themselves, coming back to Perry's Bridge. Tell me a little bit about the sounds that people can hear when they come out here. Well, we're trying to evoke the feel and the sounds of 50 years ago when people were bringing in all of the commodities that we're talking about in Bordeaux Quay. Uh, all of the buildings around here would have had cranes on and uh, there would have been a, a very kind of a, a vivid kind of life experience going on. In the test that we've done on the bridge, we've noticed that people are, we can pull people up short with the kind of sounds that we're making. I mean, I hope that works for everybody, but yeah, that's what we're trying to do. And this third installation at Bristol, Alison. Yes, the windows of that Bristol that look onto Millennium Square, you will see at night, only at night, these ghosts of dockers appearing out of the darkness. And the idea came out of many of the interviews we did where dockers talked about the pen and their experience of never knowing if they were going to get a day's work. They would turn up in the morning and sometimes they'd be picked and, and sometimes they wouldn't. Alison, thank you very much. And actually the dockers' fate changed a lot after the war. Uh, back to the studio. That could look quite spooky, actually, mm -hmm. and also torturous, having that food in front of you and not being able to get your mitts on it. <laughs> Great <for> diet. <laughs> yeah.